everybody, my name is Shiji and I love anime. So we're gonna do an unboxing video, a bunch of anime related stuff. Um, as you can see, I have a rather large box here. Let me move this out of the way. So um, I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Uh, this is mostly, actually I think this is all manga and it's one particular series. So we're gonna go ahead and open this while I tell you a little bit about the series here that I'm going to be opening up a bit. Um, you might not see my lower half, which is fine, or actually my lower uh, 80%. Um, but let me tell you about this specific series that I actually bought. So back when I was in high school, um, my parents used to give me an allowance of 20 bucks a, 20 bucks a week, which is, for a high school kid, I mean, it wasn't too bad, it was whatever, right? And uh, what I would use with that $20, I would go over to Barnes & Noble and I would actually um, buy manga and there was one manga that I would always buy in particular and that was um, this one that I'm going to show you um, but halfway through actually almost exactly halfway through um, all the volumes that I got um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult here so um, see if I can move this over uh, halfway through I kind of stopped buying this series mostly because I just stopped um, reading manga and anime altogether I think it was um, probably around 2009 was when I stopped um, actually watching anime and manga for a little bit. And then I was stuck with like half a series. So recently I decided, hey, let's go ahead and actually continue um, collecting this series. So here I am. Now, the thing is, um, I don't know if they're actually the publisher is out of business or they're only going specifically with e-manga, but it's been kind of hard to find some of these books. Um, but luckily, Right Stuff had a bunch of them. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and let's show off the little cards that they give you here. So we got Dogs and Scissors. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can. There you go, Dogs and Scissors. Pretty, uh, pretty nice picture. Uh, I enjoy her outfit. Um, I heard about this, but I never really uh, got a chance to watch it. So now here, uh, here I go and let me take out some of these things. Uh, one of them is like a bigger, like a hardcover uh, book. So let me take out some of this paper stuff. A lot of paper. Hold up. All right, that was just like a little, that was a little thank you. All right, so let me show you guys one of the volumes here. And the volume, I mean, the, the, the book is actually Fruits Basket. This is a rather heavy one, actually. So let me go through and take these out. Um, this might be a bit of a challenge, so. Okay, so these are all the manga uh, Fruits Baskets that I have. So let's go through all of them. Um, now, if you look here, I don't know if you can see, but this little part, that's all my fruits baskets that I got when I was still in high school. I'm missing two and three. I think I lent them to a friend and then I never got it back. So whatever. Um, so this is, um, so if you guys know Tokyo Pop, if you guys want to double check, I don't think Tokyo Pop is completely out of business because they still have a website, but um, you guys can double check on that. So this is, the hardcover version. Um, this is number six. And let me check what number volumes this is. Cause I think this is kind of like a, this is like a, like an omnibus in a way. So it has volume, oh, so it has volume um, 11. And it has volume 12 in it. Ooh, pretty picture. So this is kind of nice. It's, it's like a book book. And I never thought I'd actually, uh, see one of these but um this is kind of interesting so i'm kind of glad to have this so that's 11 and 12. um i don't have they don't have 13 on right stuff but here is a uh, volume 14. sorry about the glare it's kind of bright outside right now volume 14 uh volume 15 and then i think let's see 15. Ah. i don't have seven, the 16 but here's volume 17 uh 18 i'll show you in a little bit let me tell you a little bit something about that here's 19. this one's like a heavy kind of sturdy one uh 20. uh 
21. 22. And the final volume is 23. Now let me tell you about volume 18, which is actually in this little package. So they didn't have volume 18 over at Rice Test. So Ray and I decided to look through um, look through Amazon. And unfortunately, the new the new copies, there were like $50. And this one that I got was actually $35 for a semi-used one. Um, they said it's they said it's uh, fairly good and they rewrapped it so um, they wrapped it up in the plastic thing again so um, hopefully it's not that bad but I did pay $35 for it and that's half the price of a brand new one. Um, I've never actually paid that much for a manga before. So again, um, double check on the Tokyo Pop thing because I'm not sure exactly if it's completely out of business or not. All right, so here is volume 18 and they did rewrap it, it's kind of nice. Um, it's not that bad. Uh, let me go ahead and open it because it looks like they did put a sticker on it, which I'm not really fond of, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, too hung up on that. Oh, by the way, I did get this from, so if you guys ever want to go buy manga, it's called a dock off the bay. Um, they, they have a pretty good rating on Amazon. So um, if you guys are looking for a used copy, go ahead and check that out. Um, so this is again used. Okay, so it's a little bit worn. Um, it's not too bad. I'm not again. I'm not like too caught up in it. Although there is some writing in it. Ooh, I like. That's probably the best part about used ones that there's some writing. Um, it used to belong to somebody named Jenny. Jenny, I'm not gonna say her last name. Um, so it it does seem a little worn out. Let me show you. Um, there's some taping on here. Uh, it's. For, for very good, it's not very good. It's not exactly what I expected for it to be a very, quote unquote, very good. Um, it has tape here. It looks like the, the old user um, taped it up. And uh, there's there's some kind of fading. Um, there's some writing in it. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not too caught up on it because, I mean, it is $35 that I paid, but it's, but you know, I'm not like, I'm not too hung up on it writing and it's very minimal and there's some little markings here I don't know if you guys can see that if they will want to focus come on camera you can do it you can focus camera I think it's too like what anyways um yeah and then there's like some stickers and stuff uh, that's from the actual um, company who sold it but I'm okay with it I mean it's it is what it is for the most part everything here is new um I do have like a manga in there that I got from the library and it has like library stickers on it but whatever um it is an older an older manga so um looking through it let me just double check make sure that it's not too bad uh yeah no it's not it's not like it's not like horrible the only thing that I'm kind of caught up on is a little sticker that I'm guessing that the old user um, accidentally ripped but whatever so not gonna get too hung up on that let me see okay it's not a complete order <laughs> but let me blur blur okay so here is all the manga that I got um I'm kind of excited because I can finally almost complete the series um so I still have a few more. Ray actually found volume three um, over at his place, so he's gonna try to get that over to me as soon as possible. But I'm really excited to almost get Fruits Basket done. So, there you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but that is it for this unboxing video, guys. Um, did enjoy it, go ahead and press the like button, and um, I'll probably leave a uh, link to the search result for Fruits Basket, I don't know how much, how many copies they have left for each one because, again, I don't know if this thing is still in print anyways, but uh, I'm really happy to have this and um, I guess that's it for me and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the Fruits Basket unboxing video. If you're looking for an anime series to watch, check out my latest anime recommendation video for Death Parade. It's an original series done by Madhouse and I tell you guys a little bit why you should watch it. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.